Shalom, Shalom. I want to first talk give out glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that do rule well and that oversee this tabernacle of David. All right. Humble salutations to the Akim that's pushing the truth and sincerity to the hopeful elect. All right. And this is Brother Shamak. All right. And this, I just want to go through a um, few scriptures of uh, exhortation. Because um, I received a, I received a text message probably I think a couple couple days ago, several days ago, whatever, and uh, of course is um somebody that's not in the knowledge of the faith or not in the truth, and it texts me um, uh, well I started to talk I said well, I said don't got time don't got too much time to put in effort profit profit problems or whatnot forgot what we was talking about and I was like um uh, probably for in the school or whatnot because we I'm in college right now and it says. Cracking, it says cracking the fuck up, shut the fuck up, man. You're not the same no more, okay? And I was like, ain't you feel me? And it says, you're not so this, this was part of the spirit. And he said, you're not the same no more, okay? Because us being knowledge of this faith, we're not the same no more, okay? We are not the same no more as it was back then, man. Especially when we're growing, even when you're growing in this, when you're enduring in this in this faith, you, you're you not the same, you change it every day, you dying daily. Uh, according to First Corinthians fifteen thirty one, you dying daily, man, because you're trying to endure. You trying, you made, you being made hard. You swallowing the whole roll of the sound doctrine. This is this thing is not this 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 doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come overnight. This is something you pray for that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you may endure, and then that you ultimately may receive mercy after you done fought the good fight of faith. All right, and I get that. I want to start with this video though. Cause I like this. I like this spiritual. This is a spiritual video that I had in a um. In, in my camera roll and it is part my spirit when it says you not you not the same no more okay you not that because we us um Israelites man we're not the same no more we're not especially one that's that's uh swallowing the whole roll of the sound doctor because you're not the same no more okay you're not I just want to play let me play the video and get started Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And and that's what and that's what we go through, man. That's exactly when that helmet. This is all about the helmet of salvation, the helmet of deliverance, man. Okay, that that we put on that immortal. Okay. We in the flesh, man, but we it's a spiritual. It's, it's this thing this thing of ours is very spiritual, man. You gotta be fearless in this thing, okay? And don't let anything discourage you. Whatever you're going through, swallow it. Deal with it, you know? Keep being hard on yourself. You gotta be hard on yourself. Remain humble. Okay? Let me get let me get let's get in the precepts though. Let me see. Um but yeah, man. As in you fighting against all types of evils and demons, man. Okay. Let me get first Peter. First Peter chapter four verse one. For as much then as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, cause did did, did not Yahweh Hamashiach suffer on that for the uh, nation of Israel? Okay? On that cross, man. That had to happen. It had to come to pass. Okay? He says, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. We gotta be on the same mind. That's a see that's that's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow too. Being on the same mind as Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay? Walk as him, okay? And uh I seen uh, I'm gonna go through the video with Brother Yaqua on this on the channel. He has said it said it's titled We Are Yahweh Shah, okay? And I'm gonna take a look at that. It says, For he have for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin, okay? We were that's repentance, man. Radical change. That's repentance, man, right there. Verse 2. That he no longer shall live 
the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, okay? But to the will of God. What's the will of God? These law, statutes, commandments. Do with the works. Faith with the works, man. That's that's that that's that spiritual warfare we're dealing with. The rest of his time, not not in the flesh, the lust of men, not a lust of tradition of men or or pleasures of men, okay. And but the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the Most High, through the name of the Son. All right. Let me get that. Uh, so uh, uh, let me get to it. Sirach so, chapter two verse four. Okay, yeah. It says Sirach so, chapter two verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take take cheerfully, deal with it, man, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate, man. Be patient, man. Deal. You just gotta. We all go through different trials, tribulations. Everybody walk is different. Everybody path is different. Okay. Everybody. Everybody's not dealing with the same stuff at the same time. Okay. But we. It, uh, overall, we all dealing with the same things. Okay. Family, and friends, money. Time, job, work, whatever, whatever the case may be, man. Just demons everywhere, man. This world is is our enemy, okay. Let's get into it. Let me. I said the fault, the good. This is that First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. All right. It says, "Let me get that verse ten, man." No, the verse nine. It's a first Timothy chapter six verse nine. But they that would be rich fall into temp temptation in a snare. See, that's that work demon, man. When you you so worried about the cares of this world, man. You fall into temptation. Again, you distract you letting that distract you from from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it says, and to many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. Perdition. So like, all right, it's gonna draw you in in distract in destruction, man. Cause you distracted. You're not dealing with the spirit. You're dealing with the flesh. We got to deal with the spirit um, as much as we can. Verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay. Which, while some conveyed after, they have eared from the faith. Man, you don't, you don't, you, you see it's going to go up or down. It's never, it ain't going to stay the same. Your faith is going to go grow or it's going to, it's going to fall off. All right. It's a narrow path. Okay. Water on this side, fire on the other side. And pierce themselves through many sorrows. We go through many sorrows, man. Many sorrows, man. Many sacrifices we got to deal with. Verse 11. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. What's that meekness, man? That humbleness. Be humble. Remain humble. Okay? And follow after righteousness, man. The law, statutes, and commandments that cleanse your way, man. Show that brotherly love, that love, man, gathering together. O nation not desired. Having that faith, things are unseen for things to come, dealing with that prophecies, dealing with these prophecies, man. And having that patience, you got to be patient. We, we must be patient. Verse 12, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Fight the good fight, man. It get, it's going to get tough. It's going to get worse. And I'm talking to myself also. This thing, gonna get, it's going to get hell. It's going to be hell. Okay? Where unto you? Where unto you? Thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. See, a good profession before many witnesses, man. Because we, we took that charge. Many witnesses, that could be on you, you out there on the highways and byways. There's many witnesses, man. The two-thirds and the heathen. They're going to know that a prophet was among them. All right? But ain't no, we, not worried. we don't be worried about who against us. We not worried about none of that. All right? Okay? This is, um, let me get Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom did he predestinate? Because everything is predestined. It was predestined for us to come to the truth. It was predestined for us to uh, die at a certain time. It was predestined. Our life is already predestined. Our election is already, is already predestined. Okay? We just got to make sure we make our call and election sure. Ain't no bull. Ain't no bullshit, man. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom did he predestinate? Them he did, he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. See, we being called right now. We we hope. We pray in hope, man. Oh man. We pray in hope that we may be glorified through his mercy of Yahweh Shah. Verse 31. What shall we what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? We're not worried about these two thirds out here, man. The unbelievers, the people that mock that mock at us, that talk about us, you know. We're not worried about that, man. If Yahweh dealing with us, man, who? What? We're not worried about none of that. We're not worried about it, bro. 
And that's going to piss them off even more. I'm going to get 1 Corinthians. Because that 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we're not worried about none of that, bro. Um, I like this precept. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44. It is sown, it is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. We dealing with the spirit, man. We truly dealing with the spirit. Okay. We we truly dealing with the spirit, man. Um let's get first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Now I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither do a corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Okay? We shall all be changed, man. And that, and we are changed. Okay? Just like the text message said, it says, you, what it say? You are not the same no more. Because we have been changed, man, through the spirit. Through that mercy he called and woke us up. All right? We got a we got a big we got a bigger thing to worry about than some money or some uh some women or whatnot. We got bigger stuff to worry about, man. How we going to excel in this world, man? We got bigger things to worry about, man. Okay? For real. You got to swallow that. Just swallow that, man. Swallow the truth. Verse 52. In a moment and in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Okay? Okay, that's that resurrection right there, man. When he come back, man, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be, it's that that power is nothing to play with. Yahweh by Shimei was shot, the Most High through the Son, um, the Son through the Most High. All right, it's, that ain't nothing to play with. It says, for this corruptible must be put on incorruption, and this mortal must be must put on immortality. Okay, all right, Immor immortal, man. Oh, uh, let's get let me get Revelations. Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. Oh, I just scrolled. Dang, that was a nuclear um, update. Um, lucky. Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the, in the time of the dead, that they shall be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. It should have destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. Okay? Them nations, man. That's, that's talking about Israelites scattered among these nations, man. All right? It says give it a reward. See, we got to hope that we got to pray and hope for this reward. We we seeking reward, man. We doing the works, man. We seek reward. To, to the servants and prophets, to the saints. Who are the saints? The, nation, the 12 tribes of Israel, Israel, man. Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We talking to, this for the elect, though, man. This is for the elect's sake. It's all for the elect's sake. That 144,000. Alright. It says, Fear thy name, man. Fear that name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now know G Jesus Christ, Ahia, Yahuwah, Yahushua, man, whatever you call him, man. You know seen Some weird names, man. It should have destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. Man, we're gonna be slicing and dicing, bro. These heathen nations that destroyed us, man, that destroyed the earth. We're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be destroying them. Let me get, uh, I know it's a scripture, Second Ezra 14, I think, of uh, uh, us. Right, there it is, man, being changed. Being changed right here. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. Man, put off that weak nature, man. Okay? We ain't got time for dealing with emotions and feelings and your own vain opinions or your own vain thoughts. Because your how about you, shot thoughts are not our thoughts. All right. Simple as that, man. It's, we got to fight the good fight. Okay. Fight the good fight, man. That's what that's what we here for, man. Had to keep that faith. You got to keep that faith. It's going to get tough. It's going to get tough, man. It's going to get tough. Keep keep them the cast off the mortar th um the burdens of men. Okay? Put off that weak nature, man. That's 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 for women, man. We know this thing is truly dealing with men. Put off that weak nature, man. All right. I wonder if there's any other scripture I wanted to get, but I just want to make that because that 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 just came to my on my spirit, man. Us, we not the same no more. See, you not the same no more. All right. This is what it is. This is this is our lot. You can deal with it. If you turn back, man, you a reprobate. Look, oh, let me get that scripture, but now that I brought it up. 
Slug, you know, Luke chapter 14. Man, you gotta you gotta count the cost, man. Ah, oh, what's that? Oh, that is right here. Okay. It says Luke chapter 14, verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower and sit him not down first and count him the cost, whether it he have sufficient to finish it. Man, look, you gonna swallow this whole roll or not? You intended to build a tower, man. Okay, you gotta count the cost. You're gonna have to lose your woman, probably. You're gonna have to lose your family and friends. That's something you're gonna have to count the cost, man. Sit down and meditate on that. Okay? 29, verse 29. Let's happily, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all they that behold it begin to mock him. See, they gonna be like, man, you was doing all that work. You was doing all that talking. Now you, now you don't believe. But you just wasted your time. See? They gonna mock you. You know it's coming. Verse 30, saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Man, we got to fight the good fight, as 1 Timothy 6 and 12 said, man. Fight the good fight. Okay? For real, man. Yeah, I mean, count the cost and fight the good fight. You got to deal with it. Whatever come your way, deal with it, bro. I'm talking to myself, too. Okay? Extorting myself. All right, in the spirit. And I think that's all I wanted to uh, get on with, with that, man. You are not the same no more. You're not the same no more. <laughs> but yeah, man. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that paid the way for us, man. All right. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Barak Tay Hau, Barak Tay Hau Shah, Barak Tay Hau, Barak Tay Hau Shah, Barak Tay Hau, Barak Tay Hau Shah. All right. Shalom. I can keep the faith. It's Brother Shamak.